We learned about Restore OKC at Inasmuch Foundation uh, sort of in a funny way. Kaylee and the team here at Restore, they applied to Inasmuch Foundation several years ago uh, and we rejected the request uh, because we didn't know anything about them. And they applied again and I think the uh, request was again rejected. Then my sister, Becky Ross Roten, uh, took a tour out here and Sarah Roberts, our senior program officer, came out and we decided that it really uh, was an incredible uh, program and that we needed to learn more. You know, for us at Inasmuch Foundation, we are constantly looking for organizations that are truly embedded in Oklahoma City in doing evidence-based, strong work to alleviate poverty and other issues that surround our community. Restore OKC is incredibly intentional in their work and does a phenomenal job engaging with the community to solve long-term issues. We began in the summer of 2016. Uh, my husband and I and our two kids moved back to Northeast Oklahoma City, moved into the community alongside another family that was already here and uh, who had grown up in the Northeast Oklahoma City area. Um, to really just begin building relationships of reconciliation. So that's sort of our mission, relationships of reconciliation to do restorative justice together. One of the things that we invite everybody to recognize when they come in this place, if you're not from this community, is that we have an incredible opportunity to use our privilege for the privilege of one another, and that there's often privileged pieces that we carry that we don't fully understand. So when you see communities that are stuck in cycles, there's almost always a history of injustice. And we're called, we believe above all else, to, to do mercy, love justice, and walk humbly, which means we start with listening to one another. And then we ask, what do I have to give? And also, what do I have to learn? So that we recognize these cycles are not self-inflicted and we all have a responsibility and a part to play. Hi, right, my name is Elijah Jones. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Northeast Oklahoma City. Um, I've been a part of Restore KC for um, almost two years now. Um, I actually found out about Restore KC from one of my friends from my church, um, and he actually told me about it, so I actually applied for it. Some interesting things I learned in Restore, like in this greenhouse, I learned different things about plants that I actually never knew about, like um, the aquaponics system we have here. Um, just growing plants in general, I really didn't even know anything about it. Working here has completely changed me as a person. I used to be clinically depressed, and working here has shown me that there are nice people in the world that are willing to help you through all your trials and tribulations. I think the new market on 23rd is gonna completely change the community, considering the fact that they tore down our last grocery store and within five, six miles, it's gonna really change the way people get around and the gas mileage and all the money is going to really change the way people live here. Um, so as we moved to starting this grocery store, as we really kind of came alongside 16 middle and high school community leaders who are not only changing the, the current reality of Northeast Oklahoma City, they're, they're leaving a legacy behind them that honestly we don't even know what the collateral impact will look like. But we, we truly believe they are changing foundationally not just our community but the whole city um, and, and it's 16 to 18 middle and high school students which is just incredible. So getting to be partnered with groups like Inasmuch who really are thinking about sustainable impact was a no-brainer for us and we were just thrilled when they said we would, we would provide an operational grant to make sure that this really does get launched in a way that will allow it to become self-sustaining. Our interns talk all the time about food sustainability. So how do we go from seed to shelf and do it in a way that the community is invested in because we have divested resources from the community, right? That's the whole sort of civil rights history. How do we reinvest behind the community and then keep that in a way that it's just building community wealth and is really community owned and sustained? I know Inasmuch Foundation founder Edith Kenny Gaylord would be so pleased that we made this $1 million grant to Restore OKC in the grocery store on Northeast 23rd. She was dedicated to uh, the most disadvantaged families and children, uh, dedicated her whole life really and her foundation. And so I cannot think of a better organization for us to support than Restore OKC.